So I'm about to open up some really old wounds, throw some like lemon juice on them, really make some grown ass men cry, like grown men with beards and children and potentially even like grandchildren, or I guess I should say grown ass collectors. I don't know if they're necessarily men all the time, but anyways, all jokes aside in today's video, we're getting really deep into it. I wanted to kind of bring up the whole Haslab Rancor conversation up again because and, and primarily just because of the Dragon Man uh, success story here. And this is really interesting. There were there were a lot of rumors flying around uh, when we saw the prototype as at SDCC. And then even before that, that this could potentially be yet another Haslab project and it wasn't they're essentially just throwing up the pre-order you can throw your money out there and then just wait a year until you get the figure and it was really cool i mean it was something that we had never seen before from hasbro for them to offer a collectible at that price point at that price point without throwing out uh, a Haslab project out there and i think this gives a lot of us hope that potentially we could uh, see the rain core in a similar fashion obviously the rain core is bigger and i think the, if you were to adjust the price point you know because the dragon man the dragon man i believe is about 10 and a half inches whereas the rain core was like 17 inches if i'm not mistaken or a little bit over 17 inches so let's just assume the price point is double you would be looking at about like 150 to 160 with no tiers nothing else no accessories could potentially we see something like this now I, I doubt it would be double i'm just spitballing here i'm just kind of brainstorming because this is all hypothetical of course and i suppose we should do a quick little recap of this particular Haslab because it was very interesting uh, just the way that things played out and the way the numbers eventually ended up falling in line now just to get the project off the ground and into production there was supposed to be 9,000 backers which i believe they felt like 500 short of at 11,000 backers you were supposed to receive a Gamorrean guard included that was supposed to be in this beautiful retro card they would eventually end up releasing that Gamorrean guard in just a normal mainline release for the black series line which I believe if I'm not mistaken retailed for $34.99 at 13,000 you would receive this cardboard cutout essentially like kind of a backdrop that you could use behind the rain core as well as just like random little bone accessories that you could throw around your rain core kind of bring your entire display or your entire diorama to life at 15,000 you would receive salacious b crumb and then finally at 19,000 you would receive a luke skywalker clearly the figure did not even reach the original goal which was just the 9,000 and it's actually incredibly crazy that the Hasbro Black Series team was actually able to crunch numbers and assumed that they could actually reach almost 20,000 backers. That's absolutely insane when they couldn't even get to the 9,000. I'm sure that they had numbers. I'm sure they had projections and graphs and a few experts that, you know, told them that this was a feasible project, but clearly it didn't even come close to the 20,000 and actually fell somewhat short of the 9,000. I, like I said, I'm using all of this information, or I, I should say I'm finding all of this information secondhand because as of the moment of this recording, I tried finding the original listing or the original page for this Haslab project. And since then, Hasbro has taken it down. I'm not sure why, because I checked maybe like a few months ago and it was still up. Obviously, you couldn't, you know, pre-order it or anything like that, but it still had like the promotional images as well as some of the tier levels and just a bunch of information on uh, the action figure it, you know it had like the the measurements of it it had all the articulation points however since then it's been taken down and so I'm, I'm kind of like trying to find or piece together as much information as i possibly can from this mind-boggling failure of a project i will say i was incredibly surprised that this did not actually get fully funded i get it the price point was way up there 350 dollars for a figure that's about 17 and a half inches it, it did have quite a bit of wingspan and obviously the engineer work that it went into this figure was probably unlike anything that they'd ever had to do i mean most of the bigger figures that they had to work with were upright and they were just designed differently they were sleeker they just had a, a different feel to them but 350 dollars is definitely not a cheap proposition and this is coming from backers that had already supported the sentinel they had already jumped into galactus 
Uh, this was just one of those that I felt like was a really classic design. Uh, obviously, the Rancor made uh, somewhat of a comeback with, I believe it was the Book of Boba Fett live action series. I'm not sure if it was that one or the Mandalorian, but it was featured in one of those. It was, you know, a big central piece towards uh, the final episodes of that season. So it only made sense. Adding to that was the fact that the Rancor is featured in the original trilogy. So it just added even more to the nostalgia factor. And so I felt like the collectors were definitely going to flock towards this figure. And to think that it only fell short a few hundred units. I've often uh, wondered if Hasbro could have just kicked in themselves and just purchased some of these and then maybe sold them off later or had, uh, had some of these available at retail or just bought them up themselves and then found a way to get rid of them as time went by. But Hasbro was just unwilling to do that. And I thought it was kind of a low blow, especially for those few thousand backers that were genuinely interested in getting this figure. And as I mentioned earlier, some of the newer HasLab projects that failed, I completely understand they were based on newer characters. For example, you had the Riva lightsaber that failed miserably as well you had the engine of vengeance i believe the robbie reyes vehicle same thing i think he's one of the newer characters to receive the powers of the ghost rider and so a lot of people would have preferred a more classic rendition of you know some of the older ghost rider characters those make perfect sense as to why maybe they were not able to be fully funded but the rancor is a classic character and so to see it fail this badly i I think it really sent waves throughout the collectible community for sure. I think the tier levels definitely had a lot to do with the demise of this particular HasLab. I mean, they were really cool in a sense, but they just were not adding enough value to the overall price point. You were still having to pay $350. They threw in, you know, a couple of extra figures here and there, but they just were not really adding to the overall enjoyment for collectors. A lot of them felt like some of these figures were either being re-released. I believe the Salacious B. Crumb was a re-release. And then the Luke Skywalker, which felt like it shouldn't be locked into a tier for that particular HasLab. It felt like a figure that should be uh, released widely. And I believe all of that particular Luke Skywalker or, or the entire body mold at least was supposed to be a brand new digital render so that made us really excited but at the same time it was logged by a ridiculous stretch goal that was never going to be reached so and it felt like they almost did it on purpose like they made those goals so difficult to obtain that at the end even if this uh, particular project had gotten fully funded it wouldn't have reached any of the goals maybe the first tier if that but it, it's it seemed like they did it on purpose just to only get away with releasing the rancor figure by itself and that just did not sit right with the consumers and really let's be brutally honest this entire video is just giving collectors a glimmer of hope i definitely feel like after seeing or at least hearing about the potential success that the dragon man action figure will have just based on the overall reception and the crazy amount of support for this figure i think it gives us hope that potentially we could see the rancor in some capacity later down the line i don't know how feasible this is and i know it's definitely a long shot but at least we can hope we can dream. I would love to see a 112 scale Rancor action figure for my Black Series display. Not to mention, I'm sure that they've already spent quite a bit of money on the prototype itself. That thing is definitely not cheap to put together. There's a lot of engineer work that goes into it. Not only that, but then also all of the people that were paid to promote this on top of all the digital renders that were put together. I mean, that stuff is definitely not cheap, especially for a really big company like Hasbro. If this were like, a crowdfunded project where it was like a handful of people putting together a project and you know maybe they spent time out of their own pocket and some of their own money towards the project then that would be completely different they would be more willing to walk away from it whereas in hasbro has already spent potentially tens of thousands of dollars uh, bringing the Rancor to life. So I, I just don't think that it's going to sit on a shelf somewhere and the community is just going to move on. I definitely feel like there's support and hopefully the community gets together and maybe forms like an alliance to try to bring this Kickstarter back because it's definitely one of the more painful ones, especially coming from a huge Star Wars fan. But only time will tell. Maybe we need to band together, make like a petition or something. 
the rancor needs to see the light of day anyways this is just my personal take my personal opinion let me know down below in the comment section what type of or which has lab project or which kickstarter project would you like to see brought back to life do you think that there are some of these that could potentially have a second wind let me know your thoughts down below and in case you guys are having deja vu or if you guys want to, are one of the ogs that have been around the channel for quite some time you guys will notice that i did make a video like this a while ago i, I want to say like two to three years ago but it was like the older style it really wasn't me so i decided to go back i deleted the old video and essentially just brought back the topic so if you guys like this type of content make sure to stay tuned we do upload action figure content pretty consistently stay safe out there and as always make sure to enjoy the hobby that's the most important part of all of this pose them play around with them just have fun thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you guys in the next one